Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. Today we will talk about MVC. So why we are talking about MVC? Because Laravel follows the MVC architecture, right? So if you are an experienced developer, then I'm very sure that you heard about MVC. And if you are new in programming, then that is a different case. So we'll talk about what is MVC. Uh, why most of the framework most of the php framework and other programming language framework use mvc what is the benefit of it and example that how it actually works right we will learn all these things but first thing i want to mention see mvc is not a feature this is an architecture so this is not a language or a, a framework dependent you can use mvc in any language like php node c sharp java you can use it anywhere right so as you know mvc means model view controller this is a architecture or you can say that this is a pattern in software design which is commonly used for implement uh, user interface that means ui part data and controlling uh, logic that means it will break your application in the three different part first one is ui second one is data and third one is controlling unit UI, uh, UI means uh, view which is the uh, second one in MVC data uh, that belongs to the model and controlling unit basically belongs to the controller. So I will explain it better with that diagram. Here you can see that uh, this is a user. So uh, whenever he want to interact uh, with the application he have to request to the controller and control, controller will decide that this request should be go to the model or view if that request needs some data or uh, some business logic then it will request and get response from the model and uh, if uh, just if this request just need to display something then it will go to the view and display to the user right that is basically a simplest diagram of MVC according to me so uh, let me explain that what actually model do what a uh, view do and what controller do see as I told you in model we manage the data it can be hardcore data data structure business logic or dynamic data also right and view basically handle the layout and display it to the user so any kind of HTML work like buttons form controller CSS kind of work basically belongs to the view and controller basically control the view and model and decide that what data we have to uh, display to the user and what request we have to send to the model and what request we have sent to the view right and in the upcoming uh, videos i will tell you how we can create model how we can create view and how we can create controller and how how we can interact them also right so let's take an example that so let's say uh, you are not sure that you want to create a file and what it will be it will be a view or it will be a controller or it will be a model so let's say you just want to create a simple html form right that will just accept some uh, inputs from user that time that will be a view file right so uh, now let's talk about model the last one right so let's say you want to fetch some data from database or you want to make some uh, common functions or you want to apply some business logics right so uh, let's say you want to write a code that uh, you want to just uh, check that how many how much tax will be applied on a specific amount that will be a business logic right so these kind of code will be uh, belongs to the model and controller will actually get a request so whenever you will create a route and user want to visit that route the request first go to the controller and then according to your request according to your data controller decide that it, it need to go to the view or it have to just fetch data from the model so that's all for this part if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box and uh, uh, don't worry uh, then in the upcoming video I will explain everything with the code right how you can create a view model controller how they interact so keep supporting me by subscribe like and comment on uh, the videos thank you so much